Hello and welcome to the Sword of the Farmer on the news, where we have huge news, I mean some very serious big news, a real set of badonkers, packing some the bohonkeros, massive the hookabooku girls, big old the news here. <laughs> it's our weekly show where we discuss some of the most important news in the gaming world. I am the London Gamer as the sweaty. And I am Lucho the Farmer. <laughs> Thanks for coming together this week to talk about some big news. <laughs> Yes, Some right. bad uncles news. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm sure that I just like butchered that name. <laughs> Can you ever like pronounce half of the this this uh, those words? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. In the docket we have nine thousand players. Games are right around the corner. Right, we'll start recording Valorant's voice chat. Overwatch gained 10 million players last year despite no updates and no new heroes, new new maps, nothing. And finally, Microsoft is slashing what it takes from developers to 12% following the epic way of doing business. So, before we go on and now that we have you here, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. If you are watching us on YouTube, leave, leave us a comment or a like or do anything social that your platform lets you. This is the best way that you can give us support for the show. All right, my friend. So, 9,000 player games. What do you think about this new technology of like massive, having massive play in one instance without breaking everything? Um, uh, apparently like he's debuting in this uh, new game that is called Scavenger that is half of a battle royale, half of a PvE encounter, half of a survival game, all this much into one and they're doing these like massive player gatherings. I mean, it can be fun, I don't know how functional it can be what my question more of the can be fun or functional is like what do you do with that in terms of a game like what do you do with the ability of having nine thousand players in in a place I mean, it, it, it can be a very interesting ah uh, games like uh yeah like total war or things like that yes like that could make those feel more epic and like what like having individual soldiers controlled by players yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually have to recruit a a, a a real people army around the world yeah that, cool. <laughs> that can be that can be interesting yeah like i i can see this technology being super interesting in games like i don't know cavalry and uh what is the name of that that um there's a um a medieval kind of game yeah that has been like super modded and is super good in the community because and it lets you war? no no beyond total war. there's another one like very famous oh, yeah? yeah something and something is, is the name of the game something and bored and it was like yeah it sounds funny you've heard about it right <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like very 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 recognizing the in the game like with a big following yeah i can see that but i don't know like my worry is uh will you miss like the uh, special feeling that you get with your character seeing like nine thousand players and the other is what context will you will you will you put them because for this survival game it's nice because there are a bunch of people surviving in one place oh, it's also nice for like war simulation game like war simulation games. Right. Okay. Like having real real people uh, squads working in a map or something like that. It will be interesting. Like like imagine like like imagine a war game like in the yeah. in the Fork universe and you get to control your own You're a marine? Just, just your own marine and you you get into a unit and all it could be interesting. Yeah. It, well it, there you it, go. It, <laughs> It's, yeah, it's an interesting mix between a gameplay and like a social experiment of just yeah, people yeah, getting yeah. together, pretending yeah, yeah. to be a squad. Of I know, like in the 40k universe, is like really interesting 
to think about that because you can have like yeah, but, squads. But also like for, for, for medieval with, war. Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. You can have like squads within armies and then your character is like specialized in really feeding this or that squad. And you're, you're just a regular as soldier. And all the chaos Load. that you can produce with 9,000 people just doing something in MM. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I really like it after seeing like after playing World of Warcraft PvP where you have like 30 players in an instant no no like 40 players in an instant and the game just like dies. <laughs> yeah, the problem is that I don't know how useful all this is for uh, all games. persistent environments. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's a more taxing load for MMOs. Yeah, it's not the, it's not necessarily the size of the of the instance. Yeah, is that it has to be persistent. No, fair enough. And that is backing up all the time. Yeah, yeah, all right. Because yeah. in the survival instance based games. Yes. Like you destroy the instance after the end match. Uh, after yeah, it the match yeah, it doesn't matter. It does that. That is true. That is true. So and if you get disconnected, that's an, that, yeah, you, you lost. But yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah. Nothing you really lost. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And, you're right. MMO like games, you have to save everything. You have to back up everything. Yeah. That that's why sharding is so important. Yeah, that is true. It's, but it's an interesting, nevertheless, an interesting like technology. It, it, it is very interesting. Yes, and and I think it has a, a place for like survival, war simulation games, those kind of spaces. For MMOs, it'll be interesting once the technology gets there. Yeah, but it has like just like just the challenges for MMOs are different. Fair. They are different, and and the technical limitations are different. Fair enough. So, very, very interesting it's, piece of technology. It is. It is indeed. Like, like it will be very cool if one day we can go to an MMO where 9,000 people are all living in the yeah. same instance of the world. Yeah, just have like a, a Warhammer 40k MMO where you just, you're just like a marine. Nah, nah, <laughs> <what you mean. laughs> or something like that. And then you go into actual battle wars with a bunch of Game people. Worship. It. Yeah, <laughs> and we will start watching the Emperor or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't care that much about Star Wars. So. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll rather have for a K. Absolutely, absolutely, I, I, I would love it too. All right, our next news: Riot will start recording Valorant voice chat to run toxic players. So I bring up this news because it's the question of where are the bounds of privacy when you're playing multiplayer games, right? I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a weird modern problem. Where does... Where is the line between private and public life? Yeah. Because like in the quote unquote real world, it's very clear that once you leave like your house, that's public space. And yeah, correct. And, and like you can be recorded. It's there's there's nothing you can do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I don't mean like, like I mean just mean by other people, for example. Yeah. Um, so. So, I, so the interesting thing is, where is that line for the virtual space? I feel like spaces of this kind are, are kind of public because you. I, I, I do. I have the same feeling. Yeah, because you are like with randoms in a lobby, five more players. You don't yeah. know what you're gonna get. So that that kind of thing feels kind of public. Like when you like I don't know the example that I will that, that I will tell you is like. You go into a park and there's people like playing with a with a ball, either yep. basketball or yep. something like that, and then you ask them to join, play. Uh, that's yeah, that, that that's a comparison that I was trying to yeah. draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, if you're rude with them, well, they're not gonna let you play with them anymore. Clearly. 
<laughs> but because of the anonymity of this kind of space in video games, that cannot happen. Yeah, and, the, the, the anonymity of the internet is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you may, can be toxic. Read those things. lines. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I feel like this is okay, even if it feels it's, like a little bit invasive in terms of like. Uh, I, but I, but I, my, I feel, my argument. I feel like it's yeah. Okay, but. Yeah. It is a line that we as a society needs to find where yes. the, where do we draw that line? Because yes. this is new space, but yeah, this yeah. Is, it's but a I'll, problem that we have never encountered before. Correct. But in that same regard, it's like if you want to just play with your friends and be like bullish or whatever because you have trust with them, just go to a Discord or a private kind of server and and absolutely yeah and no, do no, it no, there. Absolutely. Right, and that's that's kind of the side of private. I can say I'll do whatever I want in my own Discord server if I'm with people that I know. <laughs> right? Oh, a hundred percent. Not like no one is forcing you. But but yeah, Valorant considers like voice chats with in randoms to be like public spaces in that sense. And I mean, yeah, I... that is yeah, crazy. it makes sense. Yeah. And... I have heard that it's super toxic. Yeah. But that always happens with <laughs> with this type of games. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Um, I don't know, like, this is a very delicate kind of thing because it could, like, give way to surveillance and that sort of this topic, like, crazy thing. And then you think that you start thinking, like, oh, yeah, Tencent, a Chinese based company, owns Riot. And then you get your tinfoil hat and, <laughs> yeah. and like, oh no, I'm they're sure, recording I, I, everything. I'm pretty sure Chinese intelligence agencies are not the only ones who are listening. Yeah. <laughs> and like, what is privacy anymore if you're being surveillance, everything in your footprint is we're, like... We, we're, I mean, if, if people really care about that, yeah. no one would use Facebook. Yes. Or Google. Yes. Or, or internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yes. It's very, very hard to. It's it, it's been a constant struggle. It uh, is. It, it has. And, because and, you still like there is some stuff that are like bad in the internet with region locks and that sort of stuff. The information that should be available to everyone and for no reason they don't do it. Uh, and people I mean, for, like to the point that, that the VPN. I know to the point that the VPN market has grown a bunch because of that, and they're trying to sue them. Uh, in where is it? I think it's in England or something like that. They're trying to sue them because they say that they promote piracy for lighting the VPN services. Yeah. So. But it is. It is beyond gaming, but I. It's a, it's a difficult thing, but I think this will help if the toxic player community thing. Okay, I can see the intention. Yeah. I can I don't disagree with the solution. Yeah. To be honest, but yeah, the question about privacy is it's way bigger than just gaming. Yes. It's it's. Yeah, or two senses. This is fine for the context. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense where they're coming from. Yeah, yeah, this is fine for the content. I, they, like, like we or I don't believe that they have any nefarious purpose yeah, behind sp it. Especially because in this kind of uh, hero-based games, you benefit you benefit a lot from communication and clear clear communication through the comms yeah. and voice and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, stuff weird stuff. Right? All right. Yeah. yeah. Anything else to uh, say well, about this? These are, no, all, all these are just modern problems that, that we have never encountered before. Yeah. <laughs> that will take time to. Where is find the correct? Yeah, yeah. Where we as a society stand. Yeah, exactly. We don't know. We don't know exactly where that is, but yeah. <laughs> We're figuring out. Like that's, that's kind of the point. Yes, correct. All right. Overwatch gained 10 million players last year. What? <laughs> this news and I was like, how? No new heroes, no new modes. The patches, uh, uh, in defense of this team, 
the patches are or balance of the game are being like good from from like the last year and a half right that's that would be the only def def defense for me but i don't more, know why, more why? than that it's or what you say good game yeah that that was the sec that was exactly what i was thinking <laughs> i was really was like yeah. man it, it's a good game like it's kind of like it, it's a good pvp game Yeah, the gameplay is crisp. The 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 heroes are fantastic. Uh, yeah, the gameplay. The, 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 Absolutely yeah. interesting. The objectives are fun. Yeah, yeah, the gameplay is very good. It is excellent. Like Overwatch it's in terms, good, it's yeah. always yeah, been excellent. Has, yeah, My, it's crippled by their problems, but are kind of the same problems that games like CS:GO are crippled by. Yeah, my like my only opinion or like. This day about this news is like the franchise. Like I, I've always felt that Overwatch deserved better. Like it could be a, be a better game. It could be ha. It, it could have better systems. It could be like accept that he they, they are a little bit more closer to games like League of Legends and that sort of stuff. And that um, Uh, we have a bunch of headaches inside of the actual competitive player base in the in the game, not in not in the competitive scene, but in the actual game. Um, that the game is yeah, bad, but, but teaching all, new players to stuff, are, and the quality uh, of the MMR and a bunch of things. So yeah, but all, all competitive players have all competitive games have those same problems. Yeah, but like they could have done so much better. Like that, that that's my point. Like I, I'm jaded. I, I play I play Overwatch for three years like very hard. Uh, so maybe I'm jaded that they took so long to do anything significant with the game to fix problems for so long. I, uh, I, I don't think Overwatch is a worse game than most competitive game. You don't think Overwatch? Yes, I agree with that. Right, but they should be better. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> I don't need to. They had the opportunity to be so much better and just like take everything and, and be an excellent esports and just but, like. I don't need to. It, it is an excellent esports. Yes, it, it is. It's, it's a very fun game to watch. Right? That is true. That is true. That is true. Then that is that is absolutely is is I I find at least better to watch that uh, Counter Strike in that in that regard. Yeah. So th that's. I mean, it is. It, it doesn't have to be better to be successful. It has yeah. to find its own niche. You know, like deep, deep down, I just wanted them to like fail. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, fail. It's a it's, good game. I know, in some regard, because uh, of all the things that they could have done to make the game infinitely better that they didn't for no reason. It's, I don't it's, know. it's, a, it's a very good game. I know that it's a good game, but I just kind of like hate it because it could it could be so much better. <laughs> that is that is my perspective. Because you are not good enough at it. Come on, that's not the reason. That is not the reason. <laughs> You're salty because you are not good enough. That is not my point. Like that is not <laughs> my point at all. <laughs> Overwatch is a good game. It won't fail. It Absolutely. never failed. Yeah, yeah. It has never been a fail. It's even even if it lost like traction, even if it lost coverage, even if of the course gameplay. It like, dude, it's like it's like asking two games like like years ago to keep the traction when it was on its peak. It was never gonna happen. Yeah, for League, like like League was super popular a couple of years ago. It lost a, a bunch of traction. But it's still, it's still a, a, a good game and has maintained it, their traction at some level. Same as Overwatch. Yeah, fair enough. It's okay. just that you personally walk away from the game, which is I, different. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> a different thing. Because, yeah, because I have a bunch of problems with the way that the competitive queue was constructed, the way that certain things were done, certain policies that seem seemed dumb and not in the benefit of, of the game. Uh, denying that they were actually that they were closer to a game like League of Legends than anything else, and that they should like take a look into that game and adopt some of the policies there to, for the benefits and the health of the com of the competitive community. Uh, that, and and they didn't ever listen. Is that the game is perfectly healthy? Yeah, apparently so. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, that just means that. 
people can cry all they want, that doesn't mean that they're right. I don't know. I don't, I don't <laughs> know really, that. I, 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 I know that you still believe that you're right. <laughs> yeah. But these news are throwing you wrong. Apparently so. That's, that's what I was like. Oh my god. What? How? How? Be because you, it's just because you know it's a good game. It's very fun to play. <sighs> I know that it's an excellent game. It's an excellent gameplay. I cannot deny it. I have fun. Every time I go play Overwatch. Uh, I don't know, it's painful for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that has nothing to do with the game. Like, the game will be successful. Yeah, I and guess. The game will stay successful. It, it has guess. a steady community. It, it does have a steady, like, it has a steady and growing player base, apparently. So. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I don't know why I used to talk so about it. What? <laughs> Just, I, just because you want to be right, but I I do I do I want to be like I don't know so many frustrations with this game. But you are not uh, right. You, you have to admit, like, say it to yourself. Yeah, I, it is it is well. an excellent gameplay game. Could be much better, yes. But all still games could game. be much better, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, for me, like personally, I, I, me as a game designer, is frustrating to see. That the game could be so much better in easier ways, and and they just like don't 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 take the opportunity. That's that's it's, it. Because it's probably not as easy as it is in your head. Ah, uh, that's a hard question to answer. <laughs> I'm, uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's, it's not as easy as it I is. I guess, in... yeah, but still. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They treat me. They treat me wrong in Overwatch for too long. So that's why I say I'm kind of jaded. Because <laughs> you couldn't get good at it. That's not the reason. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yeah. There you go. So Overwatch is staying close. That. How do you think? We're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit more of this in the in the big podcast, but it's weird seeing this and then uh, and then the news from last week talking about um, um, Jeff Kaplan, the creator of the game, going away. So that, that's gonna keep happening. Yeah, it's just it's just weird. Hopefully, Overwatch Two is. Better game. It's like a better game. Builds into this, into this excellent gameplay of this game. It just makes it better. For Lucho, it's already better because it's gonna have a PVE system. Yeah. So <laughs> you, and you're just salty because you couldn't get good enough. Come on, stop it! <laughs> I, I, I have spoken. <laughs> Lucho has spoken. All I right, have, all right. I'm gonna oh. move from my salt. <laughs> Yes, I need some copium, as they say in the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Microsoft slashing 12% of developers from his store. Is this is this a sign of Epic finally did it? Um, they finally they finally uh, did the mission which they publicly I mean, Microsoft, like Epic is not fighting against Microsoft. Microsoft is just catching up to whatever Epic is doing, the competition system. Yeah, but but that's my question. <laughs> because there is, there is another... Game store. There is, no, 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 no. My point, my point is... My point is uh, Epic came in into the scene with that promise for developers, right? It's like, we're going to give you a cheaper uh, tax for publishing in our game store because we feel that it is, it is, it is what is fair, right? That was the that was the official sure. statement of Epic, right? Yeah, that, that's a marketing tactic. Yeah, sure. yeah. And now Microsoft taking the same approach. And then we have another like another news that I was reading, which is that like eighty percent of the uh, of the developers publish on Steam because they have to, not because they want to. Yeah. Right. And 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 as again. This doesn't mean anything. This just means that Microsoft is just 
is is just uh, keeping competitive with Epic. But but Epic's competition is not Microsoft. It's Steam. Yeah, but that's the reason why we see more and more exclusives in Steam that are PC games. That's no, why we see because they pay a fuck ton of money to of get course. exclusive. And but that's why we see more in the more in the devs like publishing first on Epic than on Steam because they feel like the 30% that Steam charges is sure, not actually but, giving them like no not it, the, yeah. Indie games are not what are gonna sway the the market. The yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I I know where they're coming from, and yeah. I still feel like no. You feel like no. You feel like this I'm is wrong. just, this is just right. Microsoft catching up with the competition. All right, so just Microsoft catching up with the competition. Uh, yeah, that's like if if this doesn't affect the Steam, and they have a lot of like Steam have a lot, Valve has a lot of power with Steam. Yeah, they they won't, won't because they just know they are there. All yeah, right. They... All right. All right. So, is this know. is this putting more pressure on Valve? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. But that doesn't mean that they cannot take it. Can they take the pressure? At what point they can no longer take the pressure? Is my question, right? Oh, that's very hard to tell. That is is this what's gonna change the type? I don't think so. Yeah, it's like because the majority of the world is saying like. For for Steam to charge in them that much, they not they don't do enough for the game. They publish, they, they don't they, give them enough. They, they, they don't charge it based on what they do for the game. Yeah, they, they charge, charge it because they're because they are the biggest platform. Yeah, because they are the biggest platform. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that easy. Like you are right. <laughs> they charge it because they are the biggest platform that there is, sure. and nothing else. Yeah. Um, that, that's all the reason that that's it, it's a premium. It's, yeah, that's all. It is. All it is. It is a premium. But I, uh, I don't know. I like it. Make my Microsoft I'm, and Xbox I'm, has been doing like very good job in their platforms across these last months. Uh, against both the stores being more fair, being being better with the customers and that sort of stuff, and that give them results. I'm not saying I don't like it. Yeah, I'm saying Microsoft is not a, a big enough competitor in that space to make a difference? I don't know. Like, they are kind of getting into the PC market with expanding their Xbox Game Pass trying to, to PC. But, that, that, but that's, that's the key word. They're trying to get into a PC Yeah, they're market. starting. They're starting to get into the PC But they're a really small player there. That, that is true, that is true. But like, with the, with the expansion of their X, X, Xbox Game Pass, program that now if you have an Xbox Game Pass program, you have it on your Xbox and on your PC or whatever games. Again, that, that's, they are just pushing to get into a market. Will that push be, be successful? Only time will tell. Yeah. But for now, this is kind of irrelevant for Valve. All right. All right. For now. So it, it, it just depends how successful the, the Microsoft push is into, so, into a PC market. Yeah, so what will happen if all the store starts to kind of getting in in this kind of policy of 12% and then Steam is just the only one left with 30? They are still the largest one. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so do you see no hope? Like, my question is for you, at what point will Valve have to change? Like, the, will, will the at what point will the market force Valve to change the thirty percent slash cut? The, the problem is that Steam has a lot of critical mass. Now. Yes, that's gonna be really hard to change. All right. It just Steam came first. It, it, it has a lot of people. Yeah. Who just use Steam because see, see, it's convenient. It has everything. Fair. Enough. They have like their entire libraries and everything there. Yep. All right. All right. And that, that critical mass, that's very hard to say. Mm. I don't know, this gives me a little bit of hope that maybe I'm the not future... saying it shouldn't. I'm just saying that at this moment in time. <laughs> and maybe the future could be better. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying it won't. I'm saying at this moment in time, it's hard to tell. And yeah, this doesn't sound disruptive enough just because Microsoft for the easy platform space is not big enough 
Yeah, fair enough. If if they get in, like like if they like if their Xbox Xbox Pass whatever bullshit that is makes them like take a huge chunk of the market. Yeah, yeah. Then then these may make a bigger notch on on, on Valve. Fair enough. All right. Oh, but for for the for the time being, it's it's a good move in general. Like like yeah. for the industry as a whole. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not glad for it. I'm just saying that we we'll probably won't the Tron Steam. Fair. We'll <laughs> see. We will see with time what happens with the with the market and the industry and everything else. Uh, hopefully, we do have a better uh, future in the market for the developers. That's that's all. You know what I'm you always do. There you go. There you go. All right, and that is that is all, my friend. That's all for this week's news with the sweaty and the farmer. Indeed. My name is Rich, and you can find me on Twitter at LuigiPong. And I'm the London Gamer, and you can find me on Twitter at the London Gamer and Twitch on twitch.tv slash London Gamer TV, where I stream. Follow me on your social media to know where I'm going live. Thanks for coming to the sweaty the farmer and the news. See you next time. Bye. Bye.